A Selmer production. Lieutenant now. Lieutenant, Captain Powers. He's been trying to get you all morning, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, right away. What's up, Lieutenant? The Italian's pulling back to Avranche. That's a shame. It is for us. We stay. We stay? We're the rear guard. They need eyes to cover the withdrawal. Well, have they checked lately? We're just about blind. We got a replacement today. Replacement, huh? One? One. Don't they know that we're on the strength in this company, Lieutenant? Take your ticket to the chaplain, Sergeant. He'll punch it for you. By the way, the, uh, the replacement, he's a BAR man. Your squad gets him. He'll take Grady Long's place. He will?
Delaney. Yes, sir. End of the line. Yes, sir. You'll find second platoon K company right over there. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Yes, sir. You too, sir. Let's go. Before this one. That's the whole idea. According to intelligence, there's a concentration of enemy armor here in the area of Lael. They haven't committed themselves as yet. Until they do, regiment doesn't dare move forward one more mile. What good is pulling out going to do? Third Battalion is right here in the center of the line. If they fall back, the Germans are more than likely to throw tanks in to fill a gap. Tanks from here at Lael. Where does that leave us? In a position to judge the strength of the armor we're up against, and direct artillery fire. And get our heads blown off. There's always that. You move your squad to the north end of town in the clock tower. I want two men on watch at all times, day and night. After the battalion moves out, you keep off the streets and be careful to stay away from windows. This town has to play dead. That's the only way we can draw them out. I'll join you before morning. Any questions? No, no questions. Good luck, Sergeant. Who are you? Private Delaney, sir. Delaney? Yes, sir. Replacement from Avarash. This is the second platoon K Company, isn't it? What's left of it? Nice to have you with us, Delaney. Thank you, sir. Can't say too much for your timing, though. What the lieutenant means is they're about to put us between a rock and a hard place. Why don't you write your congressman, Sergeant? We drafted him. Saunders. You might as well go with him, Delaney. You'll be assigned to a squad. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, under the circumstances, you'll need every man you can get. Yes, sir. What'd you say your name was again? Delaney. I understand you're a BAR man, is that right? That was my primary weapon in basic training. But being a cook's helper, I never did. You were a cook's helper? Up until now. <laughs> Follow me, Delaney. Hey, watch what you're doing with that thing, Kirby. You want to kill somebody, Kirby? Crowds, just crowds, old buddy, that's all. That's what I call a gun. That's what you're supposed to call a rifle. Don't you remember anything they taught you in basic training, Kirby? Uh, look, I'm alive, ain't I? I must have picked up one or two things along the way, right? Yeah, like digging your hole deeper than anyone else, always volunteering to be the getaway man. You kill me, little guy. It's crossed my mind. Well, I never saw anything so pretty. Man, I could really chop something up with this baby. Just think how long I've been trying to get my hands on it. You figure the sergeant's gonna give it to you? Uh, he hasn't said one way or the other. Matter of fact, he hasn't said much of anything ever since Grady got it. They were close. Yeah. Well, Grady was alive and you was to ask him, he'd tell you. Tell us what? That I'm the one that ought to take over his gun. You know how many times I cleaned it for him. I can feel strip this thing with my eyes closed. That's a fact. The man gets to feel him for a weapon, you know? He, he gets to know it, he knows the balance, the trigger pull. You know exactly what you can expect from it in a bind. Kirby. Huh? Don't you ever think of anything else but shooting and killing? That's what we're here for, ain't it? Well, ain't it? Yeah. But we don't have to be all the time saying it out in words. John! Hey, little John. Yeah? You seen my helmet? I can't find it anywhere. Was it all beat up and black with the chin straps burned off? Yeah, that's it. Hey, that's it. What are you doing? Well, what does it look like I'm doing, Billy? Boiling water. Yeah, but... Well, you can't expect us to pick a chicken dry, can you? A chicken? Braddock spotted some tracks out behind the barn. 
He went stalking off after him. I told him they were probably big pigeons, but he said, Hey, little John, look. Watch it, Brad. Watch it. Braddock, I swear you're a hunter. A born hunter. It was nothing. <laughs> How's the water coming? It's boiling in a minute. Good. Good. Look, why do you always have to cook in my helmet, Braddock? No use burning any more chin straps than we have to. Right, Kirby? Right, that's right. <laughs> yeah, but I... Look, Billy, you volunteered your hat to cook coffee in, right? Coffee? Then it was eggs, now it's chickens. What if there was an aerator or something? I could get a hole knocked in my skull. Don't you think of anybody but yourself? That rat hands the first fresh meat this squad's seen in two months, boy. And you'd be good just cooking her? Well... Look, kid, go get a knife and cut her head off. You want me to kill her? Well, we can't eat her alive, can we? Yeah, I, I, I couldn't kill a chicken. Sometimes, Billy, I don't understand you. Off and on. Saddle up. What gives, Sarge? We're moving. Where to? You'll find out. I want a column face of me. Come on, hurry up. You haven't got all day. Get that fire out. You see what I mean? What do I do with this chicken, Sarge? That's your problem. All right, come on now, settle down. This is Delaney. There's a new man who's going to be with us. This is Cage. Hi. Hi. The one with the chicken is Braddock. Little John. Hi. Howdy. Nelson. And Kirby. Kirby? Go! Catch up Grady's rifle. Give it to him. I was Grady's ammo carrier. I figured that... I said give it to him! Fall back, Kirby. Nelson. Yes, sir. Carry Delaney's ammo. Yes, sir. Fall back in the rear, Delaney. All right, straighten out. Hey, Sarge, where are they going? Avarentious. Yeah. Oh, knock it off. We stay. Right step. Hard. Stinking situation. Like the sergeant said, somebody's got to size up that German armor. <laughs> Not talking about that. Talking about giving that new man Grady's gun. 
You know what he was before we got him, don't you? He's a cook's helper. A stinking cook's helper, that's what he was. Where does he get off thinking he'd take Grady's place? Boy, people forget awful easy. They sure can forget you. You think the sergeant's gonna forget Grady Long? He already has, if you ask me. Nobody asked you, Kirby. Put you up here to use your eyes, not your mouth. There's some things need saying. I'm glad I didn't give you Grady's gun. That's one of them. It's a long story. Tell it. He wouldn't like it, Kirby. I'm not man enough. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's it. I'm every bit as good as that cook up in a little rock if down there. If you were, you'd be watching off to the north like I told you, not standing there shooting off your mouth. He took it downstairs, sent to Braddock and Little John. Look, Sarge, I didn't you mean to... do like I tell you. I gave orders there weren't to be any cook fires. I kept it low just for coffee. Figured the other guys could use it, having to stay up the night and watch. You're not in the kitchen anymore, Delaney. Yeah, that's what the other guy said. Delaney. Takes a while for a squad to get used to a new man. They'll, uh, they'll come around. Yeah, sure. We had a young fella come into our kitchen back at Fort Bragg. Hadn't been out of basic training but a week or two, and we're right off the mess, Sergeant, put him in charge of canned goods and vegetables. Well, you know, he, a new man usually starts off at the bottom, cleaning stoves and fry skillets and hauling out garbage and low jobs like that. And, well, we didn't take very kind to that fella. You know, starting off right near the top. Canned goods and vegetables is just one step away from setting tables and serving officers' mess. Sure gave that guy a rough time. Well, we got to know him and where he came from, went to school, you know, things like that. Turned out he wasn't half bad after all. It wasn't his fault they gave him an important job right off. Like I've given you? The squad depends on a BAR man. First one they look to when they get in trouble. And you don't think you can handle it? I'm a cook's helper, Sergeant. One day I hope to be as good as the others, maybe better. Till that time, I'd count it a favor if you took that gun away from me and gave it to Kirby or one of the others. According to your records, you're qualified to handle a Browning automatic rifle. How can I be? I've been stuck in the kitchen for two years. It'll all come back to you. Well, in the meantime... In the meantime, you just do as I tell you. <laughs> Roderick, what do you think you're doing with that chicken? Can't eat it. You won't let us build a fire. You know a better way to let the Germans know we're here? What's the matter with him? Grady Long. guard after Saunders and Cage. Right. Braddock? Yeah. What are we watching for? Germans. The war, remember?
Lenny? Yeah. You were a cook, right? Well, just a helper. Well, you spent some time around the stove, right? Two years. Well, you saw him make some of those fancy dishes like uh, a chicken cacciatore and ala king and uh, fricassee? Oh, I guess so. Well, I think this bird deserves something better than a hat full of hot water. When this bird goes out, it should have, like, uh, something fancy. A little garlic, onion powder, uh, celery seeds, and maybe a bay leaf or two. It'd be a crying shame for this poor bird to get cooked plain. Well, let me see her. No. No? What do you mean, no? She's six pounds if she's an ounce. That's bad, huh? Should be three-four at the most. You'll have to stew her. Stew her. Are you sure? Yep. Sorry, honey. Delaney, there's something been bothering me. I, I know it's none of my business, but... Uh, how old are you? Forty. Forty? Those draft boards are murderers. Don't they realize that this is a young man's war? Listen, if I were you, I'd... I wasn't drafted. You weren't? I joined. You joined? No kidding. That was the only way I could get in. You wanted in the army? How come? You ever hear of a town called Hanno, Wisconsin? No. Well, I come from there. It's uh, 100 miles from Milwaukee, 70 from Madison, 210 from Chicago. You know something? I never got to any of those places. I never got any place till the war. I was a clerk in the grocery store. Now look at me. Been to London, on my way to Paris, maybe even Berlin. You'd have had a better chance to get there if you would have stayed in the kitchen and not got yourself transferred to a line outfit. I know. Then why did you do it? Being a cook in the army is like being a clerk in Hannah. It's a way to stay alive. There's more important things than that. Name one. Well, going home after the war, looking back on what you did, or didn't do, living with it. Look, I'm not much of a deep thinker, but I know one thing. Anybody that got himself into this man's war when he didn't have to is okay in my book. A little nuts, maybe, but okay. Any questions? No. No questions. You guys gonna talk all night? Kirby? Yeah? Drop dead. Little John? Yeah. What's the matter? You're gonna be mad at me again. I am? Why? Look. I'm looking. The pin, it's gone. Gone? You see, it, it was loose, and I was trying to bend it so it wouldn't come out, and, and I dropped it, and I can't find it. Well, don't let go of the handle. I won't, I won't. How many times have I told you not to fool around with grenades, Billy? Well, I was just trying to... You were just trying to blow your head off, not to mention the rest of it. Well, it's got to be here someplace. If the sergeant finds out about this, he'll really give it to me good. Yeah, like he did the time you washed your rifle in soap and water. Ooh, yeah. Well, I guess you're just going to have to sit up all night and hold that handle, Billy. I can't do that. Only thing you can do if you want to stay in one piece. Billy. Hmm? Give it here. Hey, Delaney. Hang on to that. What's the matter now? 
I, I thought I heard something. What? I don't know. It, it sounded like a... The boat slipped. I was trying to put the magazine back. Here, let me help you. Uh, this is a Browning automatic rifle. It's commonly known as a BAR. It's a gas-operated, air-cooled, portable machine rifle. It's fed from a magazine capable of firing from 200 to 350 rounds per minute. Provided, of course, that the man behind it ain't a kitchen cop that don't know his trigger housing from his butt plate. Knock it off, Kirby. The bullet comes out the small end, Delaney. But they already told you that at Cooks and Baker School, right? I said... You said you gave him Grady's rifle because he's qualified to carry it. Now, that's a lie, and you know it. Just a cook. A lousy, rotten... I pay a lot of shit from you, Kirby! Sergeant! Listen. Thanks. Sergeant! Sergeant! There's somebody moving out there. Lieutenant, sounds like the whole German army. I thought it was a recon patrol, but it's not. There's at least 10 tanks deployed at the other end of town. Half tracks, armored cars, the works. I'll get the men ready to move on. We're not moving. They're all around us. We can call a fire mission and make a run for We'd it. We'd never make it 50 yards. We gotta keep our heads down and sweat this one out. Like you said, Lieutenant, at least we're in a position to judge their strength and direct artillery fire. Trouble is, we're smack in the middle of our own target. How about that radio? Checkmate King 6. This is Checkmate King 2. Over. Checkmate King 6. Checkmate King 6. This is Checkmate King 2. This is Checkmate King 2. Over. Can't raise him, Lieutenant. Keep trying. I guess you were right, Sergeant. About to putting us between a rock and a hard place. Things are tough all over, Lieutenant. This is Checkmate King 2. When 
I can see up there, they've got about 50 pieces of medium and heavy armor scattered in and around this town. I'd give my right arm to call a fire mission right now, Lieutenant. You'd give more than that if you did, Sergeant. Stand by, Check McKee and Hicks. Lieutenant, I got battalion. Check McKee and two, over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we are. Yes, sir. Roger, out. What does the battalion say, Lieutenant? Sit still, wait till they pull out. You got a better suggestion, Sergeant? I already made it. Call a fire mission, wait till it starts coming in and make a run for it. You wouldn't stand a chance. This town is crawling with crops. They've already sent out patrols. They're bound to find us sooner or later, Lieutenant. Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Look. Everybody through that door, quick. Move! Diese Höhe ist gerade recht. Das wird uns eine Weite in die Außen geben. Herr Wunder, Leutnant. Rockmeier. Yes, sir. Can you make up what they're saying? Benachrichtigen Sie sofort alle Truppenkommandanten, dass Sie sich innerhalb einer Stunde hier einfinden sollen. Herr Wunder, Leutnant. Diese Stellung ist ausgezeichnet. Sogar sehr gut. They're going to set up a command post in the loft, sir. That tears it. Well, Lieutenant. Rockmeyer. Yes, sir. Get me division artillery. Yes, sir. Firing a traverse and searching target. They'll be coming in from every direction. Planes, if we're lucky. I'll head for the outskirts of town. Tell the men to follow me and stay spread out. There's a fringe of timber just outside the outskirts. Get there. We've got it made. Yes, sir. Sergeant. Send the old town. Packs, so we're gonna make a run for it. Lieutenant and I will lead out. Delaney, fall in at the rear. Nelson, just stick with them. And no matter what happens, don't bunch up. Just, just stick on my tail. Are there any questions? Delaney. 
Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. Won't be long now, Sergeant. No, Lieutenant. Corporal. Yes, sir. Keep that radio fired up. I want to stay in contact with division. Yes, sir. 20 seconds, Lieutenant. Delaney, you hit? No. Well, come on, come on, we gotta get out of here. Go on, go on, go on, I'll follow you. I saw him go down. Was he hit? No, sir. Uh, I, I tried to get him up. I couldn't. I told you, Sarge. I told you. Shut up! Do it! Do it! That gun, our whole squad's gonna get it. Cage, Kirby, Braddock, all of them. Are you gonna tell me you're gonna stay here with your head stuck in the ground and let that happen? Because if you are, you better get used to it. Because you're gonna spend the rest of your life with your head stuck in the ground trying to forget that you blew those men to pieces. Men who depend on you. Well, are you gonna help me blow out that gun or not? Are you?
Yes, sir. Time to get going. William P. Delaney. I don't even know his first name. Doesn't seem right asking a man to die without even knowing his name. I was wrong, Lieutenant. Wrong? I gave Delaney Grady's gun because... I didn't want to lose one of the others the way I lost Grady. I thought if it was someone I didn't know, it would be easier. It's not. We'll take the trucks as far as Lale. Joint battalion there. Yes, sir. Baker, sir. Baker? He's a new man, Sergeant. He's taken Delaney's place. You got a first name, Baker? Yes, sir. What is it? Albert. Albert Baker, sir. Well, I don't know you, Albert Baker. 